All right, hello, welcome back to this part two of our um, Kayabashi Children's Book Project. Today our topic is storyboarding. So, storyboards is just the layout to your story. On the screen you're going to see a empty storyboard right now. Each box represents one page of your story. Um, as you know, we talked about in class, the, the stories are different from a children's book where the pages are you know, I have some story where pages, some words of the story on a page with images. Each image is in the front and the story is going to be on the back. So when you read it, you're sliding the, sliding the pages. So each page represents, each front of the page represents a image from your story that you are going to create. So I, I like I said before, we're going to try to do it within 10 images at the most 10 images. All right. So you're going to do your story. And each page, each of your page is going to represent a story. So we're going to get back to storyboarding. Storyboarding is the layout of your story. So each box on your storyboard represents one page of your story. In your packet that you picked up from the school, you should have found storyboards, um, blank card stock, which is going to be your what your final story pictures image is going. On. All right. So your storyboard is going to have the small version, so a draft of your page and then you're going to make the page big or full page but in storyboard you're going to write a draft so you're going to try you don't have to get as detailed as you would on your final image but you want to get the idea of what you're drawing so you're going to if you're drawing for instance in somebody's bedroom on your storyboard you might just draw a bed and the, the, where the person is sitting or standing in their room but in your when you convert it to your big version you might want to put up pictures on a wall or a window and curtains Right? So you want to get more detailed in your bigger version, but your smaller version should tell you what you're going to do. The second box underneath the big box on your storyboard is where you write words to tell you which image, image you're going to use. So if you're reading your story and you say Jenny is sitting in her room, she looks she looks out the window, she says she's crying, you don't have to write, you can just write part of that. And then you're going to create your storyboard. I provided some examples for you to look at. Um, one is example with no words, it's just the images. And the other one is words to go with the images. Please take time to look at them. I'll keep them on screen as long as I can. And I also get your blank storyboard. And also there's a slide in here that shows you exactly where each page goes. The cover page, page one is the next box. Page two is the next box. Page three is the fourth box in the bottom. Page five is the next box or page four, and then page five is the last box, and you should have three sheets of storyboard. So, so technically, you can do at least up to up 10 pages like we talked about. So we'll, when we meet during class online, you can ask me questions, further questions. We'll watch this video along with a storyboarding video that I have found for you. So good luck.